hopefully it's something that you know blows by and it's you know four or five thousand people but if it hits this thirty thousand people mark i mean we're, we're, we're trying to be prepared for every step of the way lincoln county commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation of people for events related to storm area 51. one of my concerns is is if we don't plan and prepare for this and we have a large influx of tens of thousands of people um, it could pose a real threat to our local residents there in Rachel as well as Heiko. Lincoln County has around 6,000 residents and Sheriff Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. He says he's preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. We don't know. Is there going to be 50 or 50,000? We just have no idea. And that's the problem is the unknown. A Lincoln County Airport board member says they are getting numerous calls every day about the airstrip in Alamo. They can only host nine airplanes and have no facilities, including jet fuel. Despite the rural nature of the sparsely populated county, two business owners had permits approved Monday. The Alien Research Center is one of the facilities that will be hosting Storm Area 51 related events. The organizer says he plans to host everything from day visitors to campers on this campus. Owner George Harris says he's seen daily foot traffic increase fivefold since the Storm Area 51 Facebook page went live. They're going to come no matter what we do. I mean, the, the, what does they say, the cat's out of the bag? So, so we just need to be prepared for it. The tiny town of Rachel has 56 full-time residents. It's also home to the Little Alien, which received a permit for its alien stock event. Rachel resident Jorg Arnu is concerned about what could happen when everyone gets to town. We're going to see people pushing the envelope, trying to get around law enforcement, trying to outmaneuver the locals, breaking into people's properties, cutting fences. Arnu says he fears there won't be enough police to protect his town, nor enough resources to handle the masses. In Pioch, Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.